something. Oh yeah, what's that? I dare you to do nothing but upload the same type of content for an entire month. I bet you wouldn't do it. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. That would be silly. Unless... That's exactly what I do. I think I just broke that. <laughs> that was really close to the light. That was not on purpose. Welcome back to another episode of Curse Commercials, episode eight. This is the series on the channel where we watch television's most cursed television commercials, and we rate out of 10 how cursed each commercial is. Let's begin. Pas op wat, pats! Wat een pret, wat een lol, flats je hele handdoek vol. Hij fladdert, maar hij kan ook heel goed flatsen. <laughs> what? Hey, look at the bird, it's got a tinkle. Isn't this a fun board game? Yay! Oh, fladder, wat ben je toch een stoute zeemeeuw? Geeft niks, het is toch lachen? Fladder flats, van Goliath. Fladder flats. Were these board game makers just like outside walking around? Saw a bird take a dump and was just like, you know what? Let's make that into a thing. Oh yeah, this is big brain time. What the heck is that stuff actually? Is that like soap and water? Seems like kind of a messy game to play. Even though that was kind of gross, I don't think it was too cursed. I'm gonna give that like a four out of 10. El sol sale para todos en Sunrise a los Hills, con carros, trocas y SUVs. Como dice que por más de 10 años. Why does this character sound like Mario? Ha servido a la comunidad hispana de Las Vegas. Como dice con precios de subasta. Le gustaría establecer su crédito. Sí. Como dice tiene licencia de su país. Sí. Como dice entonces si usted no tiene auto es porque no quiere. Por eso venga Sunrise. I'm so distracted by this stupid dancing character. I don't even care about the cars. I don't even care. That was weird. I don't know how cursed it was. Maybe like a six. Six out of ten. W-E-T-P-E-T-S W-E-T-P-E-T-S Wet Pets and Pablo Only one place where fish and lizards Hang out with cats and chinchillas Kick back with hamsters and dogs Is this... Is this like an Eminem cover? <laughs> for a pet store? Parakeets, rabbits, and scorpions One stop, one shop, we got it all Any pet you can get and take home Best pet products and best pet food Best pet service is Wet Pets for you W-E-T-P-E-T-S W-E-T-P-E-T-S I have nothing bad to say about that commercial. That was just, that was great. Not cursed at all. In fact, I kind of enjoyed it. I'm going to give that a two. Two out of ten. Andy was a hero. He 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 was a hero. <laughs> you guys ever just want to eat a cup of noodles and out of nowhere a Power Rangers villain emerges from the bushes? Andy! <laughs> what is that sound it's making? That was great. Uh, pretty cursed. Uh, five. Yo, Joe, hey, what's up? Mikey, what are you doing? You look ridiculous. Bam, yo, I'm a styrofoam cup, yo. Run a woman can. Get that thing off your head and get in the recycling bin. Yo, but I'm a styrofoam cup, yo. Mikey, on Okinawa, cans, bottles, paper, and plastic need to be separated and put into recycling bins. No excuses. Yeah, I you guess you're right. There's no getting around it. Recycling is the right thing to do. Don't you guys love it when your trash just suddenly comes to life 
and start speaking with one another about how they should be properly disposed of. That's probably my favorite part of the day, every day. That wasn't too bad. Ah, uh, that's like, it's like a four. Excite. Extreme mint refreshment. Don't you guys just hate it when you wake up in the morning and some creature with four legs wants to escape your body? It's a very relatable situation. Pretty course commercial. That's a, that's an eight. That's an eight. That was kind of hard to watch. It's flush and frenzy. Flush the handle to see how many times to plunge. Look out! You pop the poop! Make the grab and get a token! Catch it in midair and it's twice the point! I don't understand why they created this product. Why go to the store and buy this cheap imitation product when you can stay in the comfort of your own home, go into your bathroom, and have the authentic experience of playing with poo? That's pretty disgusting! That's like a 7 out of 10. Road work ahead, that's what the sign said. Means you're gonna meet us, so get it in your head. Slow down! We're the cone crew telling you what to do. <laughs> this is great. I love it. I would definitely spend more time making sure I don't hit traffic cones on the road now that I know that they are two living creatures that sing songs. Cause they don't wanna <laughs> slow down! That was great. I really enjoyed that. I would watch an entire video about that. That was great. Fairly cursed, though. That's like a six. Attention accident victims. I was hit by a car. That wasn't nice. Call 1 800 victim 2. Have you a neck broke from a crash you didn't provoke? Call 1 800 victim 2. Risking your life for a living, and when you fall, call 1 800 victim 2. Oh my god, not this again. Another 1 800 victim 2 commercial. Call 1 800 victim 2. 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 Here at Nickelodeon, we strive to deliver the types of shows you want to see. But sometimes it takes a few tries to get it just right. For instance, before there was Caitlin's Way, it was called Squidward's Way. Why did you do it? Teenage hormones? Obviously, there were some issues. <laughs> I want to see that show! Nickelodeon, why did you change it? Don't mess with the formula. You had it right the first time. Before SpongeBob SquarePants, we had Tyena Squareskirt. Please. No. I was just. No. What if you just no. didn't quite work? And of course, before the Fairly Odd Parents, we tried the Fairly Odd Brothers Garcia. <laughs> the Fairly Odd Brothers Garcia. That's the show. That's what the show should have been. You messed it up. Nickelodeon, you messed it up! I did not expect to see a Nickelodeon commercial. That was pretty cursed. Um, an eight. Eight out of ten. I'm craving a treat. Banana? Darling, what are we, baboons? Your dough dippers, madam. Ooh. This, is this like that, that really weird Donkey Kong CG animated television show? Is this a scene from that? Insert... Expand dong meme. Banana, strawberry, or new pineapple. Dip into the good stuff. Uh, that's like, that's like an eight. Do we have to suffer and cry to hold it through? Ah! What is happening? Why do all these body parts have eyeballs on them? What the heck is this? Is this like a top ten list of rejected Banjo-Kazooie characters? What, what is this? To suffer any longer. Three B can actively help stop chafing and the discomfort of sweat rash from between the breasts, legs, and buttocks. Ask for Three B at your local pharmacy. 
This is like a anti-rash cream commercial. Interesting way of advertising that product. It's kind of disturbing. This is like falling into deep into YouTube territory here. I wonder what watching this commercial would be like if it had like different music in the background. I like how for just one of the three body parts featured, uh, one of them seems to be moving quite a bit for some particular reason. That's a 10. 10 out of 10. That's going to conclude another episode of Curse Commercials. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't become a victim twice.